You hear the wolf howl. We go to Jacob. Jacob's got the news. Uh, and we have 13 seconds to go. Now we have 10 seconds to go. What's going to happen? Free agency is upon us. Oh, what will 2020 fine. look like in the League of Legends, LCS, and LEC? Oh, we can only wonder. <sighs> we can only <sighs> guess. <sighs> And there we go. What a shot! What a wow! What? 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 No! Not a two what? of them! Two! Wow. Jacob, tell us what's up, man! It's a whole pack out there. So, uh, Rogue is giving their support, Vander, a two year contract extension, and additionally are acquiring Han Sama from Misfits, the team has told ESPN. <laughs> Jacob, what do you got for us? So Cloud9 will be trading Academy mid laner Golden Glue to Golden Guardians, where he will start in return for Academy mid laner Palafox, who will play on Cloud9 Academy or be traded before the end of the offseason. Uh, and uh, you look, you're stewing in that chair. What's going on here? Do I, do I get like a, a flame sound, a fire, a crack? Is that what you want? Okay, you hold on. The... A Fion, a Fion boss? Yeah, you have the, the bombs on the table. There, you got one. All right. So what do you got? I can announce that uh, T1 has re-signed Effort to a two-year deal. Woo! So uh, one of the hottest and best young supports on the market is returning to the rebranded T1, no longer SKT. T1 effort will be on the team for two more years. Uh, I like this re-signing. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, he couldn't give me. See, Jacob, you know what happened, Jacob? He couldn't give me one minute. That's it. Jacob was like, no, 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 no. I'm breaking the news on this show. Jacob, what do you got for us? So former Origin support, Alfonso <laughs> Mithy Rodriguez Aguirre, will be moving to coach Fnatic, where he is going to be replacing Young Buck, who left Fnatic last week to take a job with Excel. Okay, so that is very interesting because Mithy is one of the most revered and respected uh, in his position in all of the West. Uh, he has had success. He has LEC championships, appearances at Worlds. Uh, so now moving on to coach. Very, very interesting here, Tyler. Uh, what do you make of it? And replacing Young Buck, who recently left as well. First off, he couldn't give me one minute of glory. Get over he it. He couldn't Come give on. me one minute. He had a. Okay, anyway, <laughs> on to Mithy. <laughs> Uh, I, obviously, we don't know much about coaches. I actually have been very upfront about, uh, I didn't vote for Coach of the Year last split in the LCS when I was uh, a designated voter. I said, we don't have enough information to dictate what is a good coach in the league. We are not there every day of the week. We might get embeds where we're there for a day or two and we might get, you know, some pick up some things that the coach do well, but we really don't have any idea of how good a coach is until you have to like really live that life. So, Mithy on paper is a great coach, right? One of the most respected, decorated uh, players of all time in the support role. So going into a coaching position, it could be great. It should be great. But we've seen other top players before who are considered very smart, very intelligent, come into these roles after winning so many championships and they don't live up to expectations. So I'm very excited to see what he does on Fnatic, but I don't think we should, you know, be anointing him, you know, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna take Fnatic to new heights. I wanna, you know, wait a split, wait two splits, see how he does at the end of the 2020. Hey guys, so we just talked about Origin. Mm. Uh, there's another change as well. So they will be, uh, Excel will be signing former Origin AD carry Patrick to a mm. two year deal where he will be laning with Norskaren, who they are finalizing a buyout with from Splice. J Jacob, complete the <laughs> sentence. X Smithy has signed with blank. So unfortunately, oh. I don't have the X Smithy news yet. But this is a jungler. Oh. So I am hearing Ooh. that Fnatic are finalizing a buyout agreement with SK Gaming Ooh. for jungler Ooh. self made. Ooh, nice. That means that Broxa will no longer be playing for Fnatic and self made will be moving teams. Oh. Um. Hey guys, uh, so Misfits is signing former Vodafone support Dinek and jungler Rosarg from Vodafone or Razorg from Vodafone Giants. These are two players who have played in the Spanish Spanish Regional League, and now they will be coming to the LEC. All right, so we got Ooh. a couple of uh, fresh names joining Misfits there. It's always nice to hear stories of teams looking elsewhere other than other LEC or mm -hmm. LCS teams and looking, you know, C9 has, has done this really well for years, right? It's always nice to see them give young players a chance or maybe oftentimes their first chance, uh, uh, like, like Misfits just did. 
So here's a weird curveball for you. A oh. hundred thieves will be signing Ryoma, who is the former mid laner of Bombers, the Oceanic Pro League team. It's uncertain if he, whether he's going to start for the LCS team at this point, but it is an option that they are weighing as they move forward in their offseason. God. Here's the big one. Oh. It's not x oh. but what? it is somebody in my top five free agents list. So, Origin are finalizing terms to sign Upset, Ooh. the former AD carry of Schalke 040 Sports. Woo! Ooh. Okay, so Offset goes to Origin. Yeah, I, I mean, I really like Upset. Um, this is a really interesting move for Origin specifically, um, especially since we don't know who their uh, support is going to be now, now, he's that, a coach. <laughs> now that Mithy left to coach yeah, Fnatic. Fnatic. Um, so I think that's the thing that I'm the most curious about when, again, when I look at bot laners, I always kind of try to look at the lane in tandem. So I really want to see who he's going to be playing with. But I think Upset is remarkably talented. Um, and again, I think he has a lot of growth potential, despite the fact that he's been in the league for a little bit now. We're going to be talking about Upset's teammate. Ignore the support for Schalke 04 Esports. Ooh. We'll be going to FlyQuest Ooh, moving okay. across the pond. Whoa! <laughs> FlyQuest! <laughs> Let's go! Let's Ooh, go, FlyQuest! Wow. Did I not call that yesterday? You did. Did I not call that yesterday? You did. Give me a little bit of credit. So we're all talking junglers, but it is still not Xmithy, but oh. it is related. So, Broxa will be acquired by Team Liquid. Whoa! With oh my God. God. That is currently being done. It is not finalized yet at this point, but with them moving self-made into Fnatic from SK Gaming, that is the next step in the domino. The dominoes are oh. falling. Wow, so it's not the x Smithy news that begins the dominoes now, but they are definitely starting to fall. Pro North American team, Team Solo Mid, are finalizing negotiations with Kabe. There we go! Or Splice 80 carry. My prediction came true. You got it. <laughs> At the well final done. minute. Go ahead and pat yourself on. Wait, wait till, wait till we can see you again. But talk uh -huh. about Kabe right now coming from Spurs. Uh, I was uh, very, very happy on this. Uh, Biofrost and Kabe, immediately, they can challenge Doublelift and Core JJ as the best bottom lane in NA. And I, and I don't think any other bottom lane last blade or last year had any sort of answer towards those two. Bio and Kabe is a bottom lane I'm very excited for. and. Ooh, I, I, oh, Team Liquid versus TSM is going to be spicy.